Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Showing the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into a product that was actually sent to me and it is called Sigma Probe. It is a vehicle circuit tester um, but it's a lot more than just your basic circuit tester or what I came up knowing it to be called is the Power Probe. Power Probe is actually a brand of circuit tester and I had one. It was one of the basic models. I can't remember which one. This was many years ago, almost 10 years ago. And then I got the Autel one, I want to say maybe four years ago and it's been great. This one is way more advanced than either one that I've ever used. This one has a lot more features than your standard circuit tester. It's not just simply one that can supply power or ground to a circuit in order to power a certain portion of that circuit. This thing can do a lot. And when you use it, you end up looking like this guy. I just, I need one. I don't, it's over there, but you get the point. Uh, so there's a lot of features in this. If I go over everything or test every feature on this, we'll be here forever. So I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna be opening it up, looking at everything involved in the kit. And then we're gonna be doing, you know, we're gonna check out the um, voltage testing, resistance testing. Uh, we'll test a relay to activate a relay. Uh, you can do a lot more. It's got an oscilloscope. You can do a fuel injection test, different types of fuel injection tests, diode testing, component activation. It has voltage settings to where, like if you're working on sensitive items that range anywhere from half of a volt to five volts, it can work within those parameters. This thing does a lot, and I'll throw up a couple pictures of some of the features that it has, but we're gonna get into a few of them in today's video, and I really hope you guys enjoy it, and then in future videos, I'll hit more in depth on maybe some of these, but like the fuel injection test, it's not a simple one, especially on the Camaro. So we're gonna slowly work into the different features, but I will go over each one and the instructions or the manual is actually really well laid out and very informative on how to use this device just because it is not just a simple up down click of the buttons. It's got five or more keys on it. It's not like super difficult or anything, but it's not your standard circuit tester. There's a little bit more to it. It's got a two and a half inch display on it. All these circuit testers, whether you check out Amazon or you go with a professional brand, the, the average pricing is anywhere from 70 ish dollars to higher up almost $300. This one is going to sit at the higher end. The only two other ones are a couple of power probe versions, the four and another one uh, that are around $250 to $300. This one is also going to be around the $240 ish dollar range. So definitely up there on the price range. But then again, does come with a lot of features, but let's go ahead and check it out and see how it performs on some of these features. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below over your guys' thoughts. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Let's get into this. So included, you'll have your instruction manual or user manual. And not only does it go over everything included, but it goes over how to do each one of the tests that it can do. Working mode, it's got a smart test voltage test, resistance, the multimeter mode. You can test diodes as well, the oscilloscope. And it does actually go through and actually tell you how to do everything just in case uh, you're not sure on how to do that. It even has a diagram on how to hook up two relays and test the relays. And then component activation, you can activate it for a moment, latch, pulse. It's a, it's a pretty nice little setup, so you can do a lot with it. Zero to five volt power supply. So this is going to be good when you want to diagnose anything with the ECU when you're working uh, with items that are, you know, five volts or less. Then you have your injector testing, how to use it as far as the positive interface and negative interface. It does have online updates as well. Continuity tests, the oscilloscope, just going more into that, activating components, and then the warranty as well, one year warranty and then service process. So it's a pretty handy little user manual. So in case you're still trying to learn this device, this will definitely help you out. Uh, it's not as simple as some of the base circuit testers or anything like that where you can supply power or supply ground. This does do quite a bit more. So here you actually have the device itself with its 2.4 inch display. You have a rubberized hook. You have a light at the top. You have an input, aux input for your 
relay testing. This is where you would attach your probe or extension. And then you have the USB hookup down here. And then you have your adapter for your battery connection for your clamps. And then you also have the ground adapter as well. So moving on, just some of the other components included the USB dongle that attaches to the unit and then you can attach it to the computer. Then you have your solid copper test probe, nice fine point to it. And then you have your extension just in case this would normally go directly into the tip of the unit like so. But if you don't want to or you can't fit this down in a location to get your probe on whatever necessary, you can put this extension in it as well and work with it like that. This is the relay connectors. So these are what you would be using the alligator clips to attach to the relay. And then this is the aux portion that goes in the top of the unit. We'll be using these here shortly. And then you have your probe adapter, also copper. Then you have the negative clamp, which we go onto here like so. And then it does have a built-in fuse here as well. It's got a 25 amp fuse right here in line. First up, we have the unit. We have the battery in the trunk of my car. We're going to connect it to, I already have the negative clamp attached. We're gonna take the positive alligator clamp. Supply it power. You'll see it has a smart mode, multimeter, oscilloscope, relay, active or activate the zero to five volt supply, the injector testing, the positive negative, and the setup. In order to go back when you're in one of these, so here you're looking at the oscilloscope, and you can adjust the voltage as well as the time and all that, but if you're in something and you wanna go back, you just long press on the back arrow, and it takes you back to this menu. So easy to figure out as far as operation of getting to different menus. I have my negative alligator clip here and we're going to just simply do a voltage test. You don't need to connect the negative. I'm going to simply go to the multimeter, click OK. Here you can see you can read voltage, resistance, diodes, amps, hertz all of that. So we're going to do the voltage and the resistance. I'm just going to simply take my probe and touch it to the positive side of the battery. You get 12 to 12.1 volts. And then in order to do resistance, we'll just scroll over to highlight the resistance. We're going to take the negative clamp, clamp it here on this fuse, and then touch the other end. And it all depends on the contact that you're getting with the tip. So there it is. Real simple, it's nice that this is all built in. It's literally a multi-use tool, not just for activating uh, ground or positive. We're just gonna go through into the activate. And when you click on this, you will see you have moment and you can adjust that. And then you can select tip for the power down. Uh, the tip is going to be ground. You have moment, latch, and pulse. So, Let's just go ahead and get this connected to a headlight here. I'm going to simply connect my alligator ground clip to one post and we're going to activate the pulse by pressing the up to supply power to the probe tip. So I'm going to make sure this probe tip is on the other post. Hold the up button and it's going to activate the pulse. And then you could switch to moment. And then to shut it off, you hold it. And then it shuts off the moment feature. So that's it as far as the multimeter and the activate portion. Here we have it connected to the relay. So what I've done is I've taken the relay dongle, attached the aux portion up here at the top of the unit. And for a five post relay, you will be using the green. For this four post, we will not. The green will go to the 87 alpha. We don't have an 87 alpha due to this being a four post relay. So we're gonna disregard the green. Your main negative is going to go to 86, as seen here. I have it on this 86 post. The black 
one from the aux cord is going to go to the 30 and the red is going to go to the 87. And then the last post is where we will be using the tip of the probe. So we'll go to relay. Relay is not connected and it does show you also how to connect to relays on the device as well. So you don't necessarily need your user manual. And then you will select, you have your five posts and your four posts. I highlighted the four. And then you simply, once you have all posts connected, you simply just like when activating the light that we did before we held the up button, that's all you're gonna do here. Here it says relay is not connected. We're not supplying power to it. So as soon as I press and hold the up button, it has supplied voltage to it and you can hear it click. Hopefully you can hear the clicking of the relay over the beeping of the unit. But there you go, you can tell whether or not a relay is um, good or you can activate it to see if it's working. I mean, there's a lot of features to this unit and it's very user friendly. As you can tell here, you click OK and it pulls up the diagram to assist you in connecting the relay uh, the proper way. So in future videos, the smart feature up here, it basically just auto detects voltage uh, when you touch the probe. Uh, the multimeter is so you can go in and select voltage or resistance or testing a diode. So in the future, we'll be doing a diode test, oscilloscope test, activating some other components. I'm not going to mess with unless I absolutely have to the zero to five volt feature. And then we'll be doing an injector test and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. Well, I've probably spent easily $200 to $300 on these circuit testers, and this one being $240. If this was out when I had my previous two, this is definitely the way that I would have went. Uh, just because of how easy it is to use, the features, the screen, uh, everything included, it's a really nice unit. So if you're looking at spending, you know, $150 on a power probe or a circuit breaker in general, um, definitely check this one out. I'm not saying it's the best one out there, but it is very user friendly and has a lot of features. So you get how this would be handy to have instead of getting out multiple tools, it's got the multiple features in it to where you can use this, possibly just this on one job instead of digging out multiple tools so that's what i'm getting at and that if there's anything that i forgot to mention that you would like to know uh, please just drop a comment down below i'd be happy to answer you guys i will have this link down in the description if you guys are interested as well as well as many other tools in the tools link down in the description so if you guys enjoyed please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts of this unit and how the video went if you guys have any other suggestions or improvements for video content uh, please drop a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.